Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss some of the causes and consequences of inequality. Let's discuss the same. Now we know that uh, inequality is a situation where we have people would be having different people would be having different level of income. So you call that as in income inequality when different people have different levels of education you call it as education inequality different people belong to different types of religion you tell that it is religious based religion based or religious kind of inequality that is happening when we have people of different genders in our economy we could see that gender based inequality is there when people of different section get different opportunity we say that it is inequality of opportunity when different people have different levels of wealth we call that as inequality of level of wealth so when it comes to inequality inequality has diverse faces so we have to consider consider all these phases of inequality it's because all phases are related having said so it's important to understand the factors contributing to inequality the causes of inequality it is only after understanding the causes we can go for some resolution to reduce the inequality that prevails in our economy whenever we say causes we could say that there exists so many causes so this cause would have some of the causes would be having a global phase some causes would be having a domestic kind of phase and some other causes are purely localistic local factors would also contribute to inequality move to global factors so this would include so global factors means this has got an international character international character so this would include some technological progress the technological development that takes place in one country might make that country technologically advanced with respect to that particular technology compared to other nations globalization we could see that globalization make richer nations richer and poorer nations poorer then commodity price cycles so this two will be influencing the inequality situation in the nation now com coming to the concept of technological advancement or technological progress or upgradation or development this will lead to what is known as skill premium so here what happens is that the people would who will have more education who have received higher education they will be getting a comparative advantage in using new technologies because it would be very much easy for these people to learn new skills and for the very same reason these people would be preferred in certain work areas which require the service of people who know the knowledge regarding the new technology so the people who have already received higher education will be in a better of situation here now again you have some country specific factors you can call it as domestic factors domestic factors influencing inequality so this can be the economic developments that takes take place in a particular nation again this are these is country specific you can have economic stability in one particular nation whereas you might be having economic instability in some other nation for example you can consider something like the 2008 financial crisis we know that this crisis has affected all the nations of the world but 
even though it affected all the nations of the world the depth to which or the depth in which it has affected the extent to which it has affected different nations this extent is different it had impacted the us economy to a great extent but when it comes to indian economy the effect was not that which severe again domestic policies all nations would be going for its own specific nation specific domestic policies so as to deal with the various needs and wants of its people again you can have policies related to financial integration this too will be creating some cost for income inequality the policies taken by the government the fiscal policies that too can be influencing our inequality situation it might create inequality situation for example you can say some programs which target a sec- some particular section so whenever the government gives some financial assistance to a particular section of people you are not considering the other section you yourself is going for a deliberate kind of inequality it is again a promotion of inequality it might be to reduce inequality that the government is going for such an uh, such a targeting system but that might lead to more inequality again programs like liberalization deregulation things like this too will be catering to inequality situation having discussed the causes of inequality let's see the consequence of inequality what will happen if inequality is there in the economy there would be political polarization so power might be in the hands of few power in the hands of a few now this might lead to lower economic growth especially when it comes to poor economies and this is what that will lead to another important consequence that is poverty some nations would be trapped in poverty as a result of its slower economic growth again whenever there is inequality the people who suffer from inequality they get excluded from various opportunities from various important chances if they could get these chances they could have attained some well of situation but they are not given these chances they are excluded from these chances so this exclusion comes as a result of inequality as a result of inequality people's living standard would be coming down the standard of living will be coming down so this would be another issue less standard of living then since we could have two equal two uh, since we could have two groups as a result of inequality the two groups can engage in something called social conflict since a society consists of two group one the powerful group and the other one the powerless group there can be a social conflict between these two groups which again is a problem again there would be some ethnic movements people would be grouping together they would come together the people the sufferers they will be coming together and they would go for movements different types of movements this will be impacting the nations badly impacting the affected nations badly okay so that's all about uh, today's discussion I request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you for watching you can be a part of my telegram community for that i'll be giving the link of this community telegram community in the description box you, you can join from there also you can download the learn economy app for that also i'll be providing the link of that in the description box You can use that link and join. That's it. Thanks for watching.